Sausage ready to roll. Okay. Okay. Just match that one. Match. Here we go. Five. Five. What happened there? Six. Six five. No. Six five. Six five. Standard move, of course. Followed by five three automatic. Six two, of course he just wants to run because there's nothing better to do. Okay. A four would be obviously big. And six three. Oh, so you can just put <coughs> three and six down. Right. That's right. Yeah, good move, yeah. And six three, that's a good roll. Now Conrad is actually safe. I think Mark wants to roll three. He rolls nothing like that. What does he roll? 5-4? I can't see. Is that 5-4? So he just wants to slot the 4. That looks like the right idea to me. I would do that. Because there was nothing better to do. 4-4. Four, four. That's a great roll. 2. But that leaves 5-3. Okay. I guess that's got to be reasonable. 3-6. And I think the cube should be... Well, the cube should be coming. I may not have played double fours that way. Yeah, it's a good cube, good power cube. And now Mark has to actually take this. Guys, you could probably confirm it. This is, in fact, a take, an easy take, the double fours. Was that an error on the fours? Because I thought it was. Yeah, it's it small is. One. Very small. Oh, it's small. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Because he doesn't have another checker on the eight, that makes it very easier, easy to take. It's only 5-3 and five whatever. There's just a few very crushing, big crushing rolls on the immediate shake. There is plenty of play. Uh, Mark sees that he's probably counting the race. He's a real like stickler for those type of things. But there is just too much contact in a position. And as a result, uh, he must realize that he has to take a cube. For example, rolls like 6-1 or, or, you know, like, 5-1, you know, it's kind of awkward, maybe a little, even if it makes the 5. Uh, there's just, yeah, good decision by Mark. He took his time. He sees that there's a lot of possibilities here. 5-2. Five 5-2, two. Five two, he hits 2 automatically. I think I like that idea. Anytime you put 2 on the roof, it's usually the right idea. So it's a lot of pressure. 3. And now he needs to follow it up with a really good roll, like a 3-2, for example. Double 4s. That does cover the ace, but it does make the five. I'm not sure about this one. I think I would have made the five point. Anytime you can make the five, you normally make it. Even even if it means that you leave a shot. Oh, that's a huge fan. And now he's really getting gammon on the first game. Five two is a hitter, obviously. And now he's just getting blitzed and I don't even know what he wants to roll. I guess double threes. Ah. Uh, no, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a routine 5-3. So the 3 covers, the 5 is down, of course. And even a 5 is not good here. No, we need a 5, double 5. Double 5! Oh my god! Is he supposed to hit? Oh my god, I can't believe he did it. Yes. Oh my god! He should hit. I guess he should hit, right? Yeah. yeah. And of course it's right to hit. Uh, because if you don't hit... Uh, basically, the other side is going to consolidate the position. He's going to bring his guys home. And that, and then you're going to be left with a shot maybe to hit one time and one time only. So you have to do it now and hope that the four doesn't come. Then you're going to have a good game if you, if you get missed. So obviously, Mark is thinking about this. I'm guessing that he's not going to hit if somebody wants to gamble. Uh, Okay, okay, I have a one bet from Genius here. He knows that the right place to hit, it's very clear. So, you know, but I'm no, I know that there's a lot of scare factor here. And uh, I guess, yeah, you can see, you can see that I know my players, you know? That's why I'm here, you know? This is what I do best. Yeah? And that's why I'm here and he's over there, you see? See? That's why I'm good. 
Yeah, double threes would have been a fan, right? <laughs> what a huge swing. So that was a big error, right, guys? That was how big was that? Really bad? Fifty. Oh, it's fifty. It wasn't the worst. It was just small inaccuracy there. Okay, he's forgiven. But after double threes, it's really bad. <laughs> that was a bit like a redouble there, I think, after that. Uh, so three. That's one, two, three, and yeah, and I guess. <coughs> I guess he leaves a three shot no matter what he does. So yeah, so I guess that's gotta be right. Yeah, that's gotta be right. That dupli that doesn't duplicate, of course, the three. But what else could he do? That leaves threes and ones. That can't be right. That that leaves twenty numbers instead of just whatever. Thirteen, but two one is not even a hit. I don't think he would hit. Right. And yeah, that's just not right. I think it's very obvious that you just do this, this, and that, and you go behind there. Yep, you're just making sure. Okay, he found it. He only left a three. But the three in the cover, what about if he rolls like a three one? I guess he li hits and lifts. <laughs> Did he roll it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I was just thinking what I would do. So of course he has to hit and he must lift. I can't see that. I wouldn't hit. Yeah, he sees the ace, he sees that. So what is that? Two and a five. The five is duplicated to come in. The deuce is not. The deuce is not. But I think it's right. Oh, is it? It's wrong to hit. Yeah, it's a blunder. It's wrong. It's a blunder to hit. Okay. Yeah, I guess the reason probably for that is the fact even if you hit, you don't even win. You're not even close to winning. That's why I was thinking about it. Yeah, of course, if you don't hit, you do that. And then you hope to get the next shot, and when you hit that, your board is going to be ready. The reason that you don't hit is, I guess, the board, you're not ready. You're not even winning if, if you get missed. Yeah, very good play by Mark. He was very careful there, and he understood the danger. Very nice. Four and six. This is the right play, I believe. This must be correct. And now he's going to cover his board, and a lot of time he's going to get a sh one more shot. Five, one. 5-3, so obviously you don't want to make the one point. If it's 5-3, it's two down. That's got to be two down, yeah. So that's that's two down, and now he just he's <coughs> probably a favorite to get a shot, maybe not in this roll, but on the next roll. What's 3-6? That's not that bad. You know, it duplicates the deuce. It's only 11 numbers, but he's going to hit with any deuce now, like even with 2-5 or whatever it is. Oh, aces. One, two, and just bring it in, you know. just You don't need the bar, yeah. Yeah, you actually always should be careful in this situation uh, so you don't get gammon. 5-2, you should take a man off, I think. I don't think you play 6-4. Yeah, this is probably the safest. He takes the man off. 5-1, five, 5, and 1 over. And now 6-5, always comes. Oh! <laughs> 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 you know, it's just one of those things. <laughs> ace, ace, you rolled it! Oh my god, that's so sick! I can't believe it happened. Ace, six, back would even be sicker. That could lead to a gamut, but no, and the cube is coming, of course. And it's a wonderful pass. Wow, what a sick game! <laughs> Wow, that was truly sick. I feel like I'm jinxing the guy, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like told I'm like jinxing him or something. Alright, that was pretty big and we're gonna see how well uh, Conrad recovers from this. I mean it's a big swing, it's like six points, you know, it was a oh well not even six, but the double five then then it became a four point swing. 3-6, that's a bad roll. I think he just slots the four point. Or he runs all the way. Yeah, maybe I think he runs all the way here. I'm not sure. And then the three is you go with it if you do that. You don't stay there. Oh, you slot the four. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> this looks like the right idea on the second. Oh, yeah, this is like the second move thing. Yeah, this is probably right. Genius is here. He confirms it. It must be the right idea. I would have played thirty. I would have played thirty to four just to be different. Three <laughs> and five he has. So there is no good five. 
So I just slapped a five, maybe, just because I don't want to, you know. Yeah, you could do that. That's usually standard. I would have just slapped a five and made like a two percent round. Five, three. All right, five and three. That's obviously a very good roll. That that gives them an equal game now. Six, five. I know this move. This is in the books, right? If you just do that, and he knows it too. Look how fast he played it. This is the right play, of course. This is the right play. This was on a quiz. I swear I saw it. <laughs> right, and now double twos. What is he going to do? Is he going to hit or is he not? So I guess you make the four and eleven. That's the consensus. Two, and yeah, he sees it, and he's going to make the eleven. Very good play by my mark. Six five, right guys? Running all the way. He knew it. That was good. And this is the right play with double twos, of course. A deuce is good. If three two. Three oh that leaves a shot. Or, or you pile them up. What is that? That leaves that leaves nothing. And it's just a matter of not you probably don't want to leave a shot. I don't oh I duplicate some aces. Let's duplicate some aces. Um it's always not, it's not my style to, to do this, you know, honestly, I would just pile him up, uh, I would pile him up, uh, I don't want to leave a shot now, if I get hit, I'm going to get in trouble, I'm winning probably in the race, uh, I escape with one man, so I think I'm actually going to play safe, what is the play here, and the play is actually safe, and the play is safe, yeah, so in this one, I'm right, it's the right idea. You don't want to give up the midpoint. If you get hit there, you're going to lose control of the outfield. And your opponent is going to make all kinds of points and prime you. Yeah, this is a good idea, Mark. This is good. Now, basically, it's like going to be Conrad's roll uh, turn to, to roll. And OK, this leaves a six. And some random six, he's going to hit with any six. I swear he will, even with a six two. Any six is just a hit. That makes it probably wrong to leave it. You know, he does want to step out, but, but but he's leaving just a ramp. That can't be right. <laughs> and of course, this is like, it's <laughs> right. You're going to hit on the three. Yeah. Oh, my God. And double fives. He fell right for it. Wow. That's a huge roll. Two and then two from the midpoint for a lack of better two. I don't think he's going to play 13 to three. So I think that's the right idea. And I think if he fans out, the cube is going to be blind. So this is a big roll for Mark needs to come in. Maybe a deuce, you could make the 11. And 5-4. Oh, and you can see now that he has these bots, even if he makes it to the seven. Now the deuce, the deuce is not duplicated in any way. So he has to actually come out and hope that he gets missed with a, a two and a six. Right, I think this is the right play. I can't see another play, this is confirmed. Uh, okay, deuce. Five four, that's a misser. That's a miss, so he has to play to the from the eight point. He must move from the eight. Okay, he has nothing, you know, he's not gonna give up the, the five. No, that's the wrong idea. Because you wanna put pressure. I think you move from the eight, and yeah, yeah this yeah. is a mistake, of course. And so what is that? Three six? Five one, I think. Five one. <laughs> Three six. <laughs> Okay, so he makes that. He didn't want to leave out. No, I think this is wrong. It was Damn. Right. It was I th right. This was right. Five one to. It wasn't right to play thirteen twelve. Uh. It was the only right play. Oh, was oh okay. That was a good move. Okay, good good play by Mark. And now he's gonna cover up the blocks. Now he's gonna clearly, you know, double four two for sure, and then he's gonna make the four. No, not don't do that. I don't think that's right. You don't want to give him. No, no. Yeah, he's gonna count, but this is wrong because he's not in any hurry. He's in no hurry. He's very flexible, and he wants to keep the eleven point. So he's gonna make he's gonna make the four and slot the two. I believe it. Oh, actually, it's it's, it's very close, but the bar is actually better. It must be with the race. He must be winning or something. What is the count here? Actually, he's behind one step after. Oh, okay. So it's like an equal race. All right, that would be my move. That's a small mistake here. Uh, that's a very small error, but I understand it. I would make it two, six, five. He covers all, all of them or whatever. He just covers the board there. Five, six. All right, there's nothing that Cousinette can do. <coughs> He's just going to sit there forever. What's that, three, two? Oh, double threes. All right. Well, what can you do with that? 
Uh, let's see, you can make the bar, and maybe you can make the only one point or something. Or just make the three, yeah, I'm not, I think that's, yeah, and then, yeah, maybe make the one point, yeah, that's kind of like my idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that, that keeps the prime, it's flexible, you know, and I think that was the right idea, that was the right play, actually. It was the right play, it's confirmed. Very well. Mark is doing very well. I'm getting lucky too. <laughs> Five two. So I don't think he wants to clear the eleven point. He can break the eight. He can actually break the nine. He can break the eight. Yeah, it's flexible. Right, that's true. But the race is what? And how about now? Would he run out now? Probably not. What is the race now? Mark is behind two pips. Mark is behind. So I think he's probably going to wait. Oh, he didn't. I don't know if that's right. I probably would not have done it. That that, that can't be right. Like a 60. A 60 error, oh, small 50, error, but, but you should have closed the board. Double, oh, double fives, okay. Don't touch that. Touch that and touch the other two to make the board. Now it's now he needs to escape there. That's wrong. No, no, you don't need that. No, 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 no. No, that, that, that's what's that? That just piles him up. You're not, he's not worried. He just makes the two point and he's going to double on the next roll, especially if the, that man does not escape, right? So he needs to escape. He doesn't escape. The cube is coming for sure. <coughs> Th this, is, this is clearly the correct play. Nice. He's just scared us a little bit there. All right. Now, now what? Double fours. That's the second best roll. Next to double fives, and he makes the five, of course. And now the race must be really close. Very good roll by Conrad. Five, three, five, and of course three. And now it's just a full-blown race. Conrad is stuck. Let's see, 12. Genius Conrad, two. All right, that's good. I can't do that. But all right, six, <laughs> four. Yeah. That's why they don't call me genius. Five, five? No, five, three. OK, then off. So Conrad probably has the edge on roll. Oh, two one, he no longer has an edge. All right, now it's the other way. Mark rolls four three, two off. A lot of pile up on a six, so he's nowhere near a cube. Oh, Conrad just like, he's getting weaker, but Mark can't do much, can he? With five men on a six, what's the count now? Nothing. Three with six, oh, it's a great roll there. And now, if he rolls to one again, he'll probably get a cube. Four, and probably four to two, I'm guessing. Looks like the right idea. All right, five, ten, ten men versus ten. And now it's a pure count. So what is that? He's up ten, he's up four, he's up ten. Five. He's six, he's up five. So he's up five, but with that, so of course it's going to be a take. I would double and maybe Conrad passes without, no, I mean, it's just a race, he's ahead. It's a clear take in my mind. Oh, he doesn't double, okay. Okay, it's a no, it was a no double, okay, good. It was a little fast. Okay, now what about now? He wrote, did he gain anything? He gained in, in the pips, right? And now, and I guess now it's probably a double. It's it's, yeah, it's a small double. Okay, nine versus, yeah, it's a small double. But this is hard to find. Yeah, I didn't expect him to double. This is a bad roll, of course. It's a miss. He won't miss anymore unless he was too long. Or like, I don't even know what, but it's nothing. Conrad is thinking the cube. Oh, double four is one. And actually, he will cube next roll unless Mark rolls double aces or better. What's he doing? Is he not doing it from the six? He's going to go to the ace or something? He should just go to the ace, and he's uneven anyway, and that's fine. Now he needs to roll. He's going to have to take the cube, too, incredibly enough. Oh, wow. That's nice. 5-3. All right. What do you do? 5 there. That's better. All right. And now the cube should be coming. Yeah, or maybe not. Well, it's close, but it's a take for sure. He's very careful with this. He's going to lock it up. This and now the cube will be coming after this. 
Was it a cube before actually? Uh, no, right? And now the cube is coming for sure. And this is almost a thing genius says. He knows it. What is it? Four one. And he has some aces, right? Two one. Yeah, this looks like a take to me actually. I will take it. It is a take confirmed. A very easy take, in fact. Very easy. Because of some aces, you see. 2-1 is a disaster. 3-1 leaves a lot of shots neck throw where he misses. 4-1. Um, obviously, he's not so good. Um, yeah, there's not so many bad rolls, but it's just enough to give you a take. In fact, you have like 28% here. So it's weighing above what is needed, which is 25 in theory. Um, so actually, Mark should know this. He's actually thinking this is like a three row position. Genius says it's even a, a redouble. Oh, I see. Genius says it's a redouble for the other side if he rolls like really badly. I don't necessarily but oh, okay okay and what happened here oh I thought there was a motion for it or something oh he took it very good good decision by Mark good five two so obviously now it's a pass well maybe not because he didn't roll gin <coughs> it's a pass now all right even you know you can roll a double it may be a take, because he didn't roll gin. 3-2, a miss. Oh, it's going to be hard. 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one, I've never seen that. Oh, double, no, that's 5-4. Last roll for Mark, any ace or better. And what's he doing? Oh. Hey, please, oh my god. What's going on here? This is so spooky. What's going on? Wow, that's pretty amazing. Two really unlucky games for Conrad. Really unlucky. Um, wow, one of them he was just winning a gamut. This one was sick. Another sick loss. G, 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 G. Four what? One? Four one. Okay, that's nice. I like this idea. Five threes hits, hits. And now, a six with a roof is not good. Five one covers, that's a good roll. Uh, let's see, two six or no? No, two five, okay. Standard, four is good for Conrad. Five one, how does he play this? So he can split from the back and play five down. Oh, what's the, oh, he duplicates the six. Oh, that's not so bad. Can't be so bad, can it? It's the right move. It's the right move, yeah. Very good move by Conrad. 4-1. Uh, let's see, he can play eight. He can make the bar. He can hit and down. I never know what to do here. I will just hit because I just don't know what to do. So I would hit and I would play 13-9. I, I mean, I can't imagine 13-8 is right. So that duplicates sixes, but at least if I'm going to leave a shot, I'll probably hit. And this is actually the right move, I see. 38 is second, and hitting is actually a small third, 12% off. So yeah, this is a tough move. I think I would do this over the board for a lack of better thing that I could come up with. But actually, uh, playing safe is not so bad, and this is the best play. Wow. Very nice. He duplicates the six. Four. Okay, he must play the four. He must play the four. And the five, <laughs> I guess I would just play down. I can't see. Oh, you can hit. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the hit. Gee. Yeah, I guess I would hit. What the hell? Is, it hit, is the hit wrong? No, yes. oh, it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay. <laughs> it's wrong. 6 4, so that hits and it probably goes all the way. You don't want to get stuck there, so it must go all the way. It, it, it just has to go all the way because you don't want to stay there. 
I think it should be going all the way. And this is correct to go all the way. If I've done it right. <laughs> all right. So a six and the deuce will definitely hit. No. Five, four. So you want to come in and the five and slot the four? Okay. Or come out, actually, is better. I think I would have come out with that. Just because I, I, you know, I'm behind, I don't want to get stacked like that. But five one, all right, that's a good roll. Well, that's so good, not too bad. All right, five one, that makes oh five, five two. two, okay, that's a good roll, that's a good play. So three one is gonna hit. It. Other than that, no six four, that's two down, of course. That's. Oh, you cannot stack the six, but I think this is a better idea now. You could, yeah, you could not stack the six. It's, yeah, actually, it is best to stack the six. By a lot. Eh? No, yeah. but no, it's very close. That's by a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's just such a pile up there that you you really don't don't want to, you know, you want to unstack it, you want to make the two point. It makes it easier to come home. Yeah, two four. I don't think that that's the right move. Oh, I probably would have made point four point two. The other match I didn't. But well, this is match. okay as long as he hit. Now he has a three point board. Oh, he fans, and maybe Conrad is gonna queue because he's just pissed off. Yeah, he's pissed. He's pissed. I know him. You know, and Mark has to take this, of course. It would be, uh, you know, w very bad if he passed, I think. I don't know what the race is. It's not even a double, actually. It's a huge take. Uh, he's just pissed, you know. It's not even a double. It's small, though. But I think Conrad did told me that he's going to be very aggressive. So, you know, I know him. He is. Uh, oh, Mark is just counting the race. And he's probably seeing that, what, he's losing, he's winning the race. So, uh, you know, it's impossible to pass. He took it, of course. And now you want to roll four. And if you roll, uh, you roll the four. And the two, I think he wants, no, that's not the two, actually. That's the wrong two, because you want to make seven points. I'm sure that's the wrong deuce. That is the wrong deuce. I'm right about that, of course. The deuce you wanted to play 11, I believe, was the right idea, because you want to make the seven point. See, now you would have had the seven point if you could listen to me. All right, so five four hits. Any anything that comes out is good naturally. Uh, six is doesn't. Oh, double six. Okay, so he needs to keep the midpoint, I believe, and he needs to do that. I agree with this. I agree with this idea. This is uh, confirmed, I think. No. No, it's wrong. Leaving the mid was right. Leaving the mid was right. By how much? By. Not a lot. Oh, it's very, 15, it's close, it's 15. like 15, okay, not big deal. All right, meanwhile, 6-1, uh, very good roll. He just gets the hell out of there as fast as he can. 6-5 or a 4 will do. 3-1, that's huge. And puts him right back in the driver's seat. Mark is in really bad shape here. He needs to roll really well, like a deuce or three. 3-6? Three, wow, he's really rolling today, boy. Oh, my God. But still, I don't see 5-2 is a really bad roll. Because now he puts no pressure on him. He just needs to roll a random three. Any three is very good for Mark. Six, four is still good. He, he's never going to be able to double this. Um, he's just going to have to leave a shot. He's going to have to volunteer very fast. Uh, any like six, he's going to bring two down and stuff. Unless it's six, one. No, six, one, of course, he will too. Uh, I'm thinking I want to come out with the three, two. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to do. I'm thinking three and all the way. Why does he do that? The five is the five is a bad roll. Now it's now it hits. Four one. Is he really gonna hit? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't. Uh, Mark is consistent. He doesn't. This is the correct play. Hitting is a mistake. I see that. This is a good move by Mark. He's avoiding some pitfalls here. Okay, that makes the deuce immediately, then safety. Yeah, you should bring that guy to safety. There's no reason to leave it there, you know. It doesn't help him. Yeah, but but, but how does that help him so much? Does that, oh, it, it was the best play. 
There was, yeah, okay. It stops him from, okay, that's what that does. All right. That's true. And, but what are you going to do now? You're going to keep it, you're going to leave that still there? All right, that's probably, no? Is that the right? I would, I would play something like that, of course. I would be consistent. And I would just keep my position like that. I'll come off the mid. What was the best play there? Six, seventeen, eight. Oh, it's a big error. It was he should he should actually he should come off the anchor and play six down. That's a really nice play. I think it's very hard to make that play over the board. Double five is big. Yeah, I guess you just want to have the most control that you can. You're in such a bad shape. Four two. Is this where he leaves it? No, I guess not. Well, if that's the four, then the two is obvious. You should be to the four point. It's not going to go. It's really not going to go anywhere else. No, what, why, why did he do that? No blocks? Does that make sense? That, that didn't make sense. Yeah, that just didn't follow. So, yeah, it's just a 40 sum. That's an error that does not need to be made. So, 6 5, he can just run all the way. He can play uh, to the nine point, right? He can just run, he can just, all right, he can do that maybe. I don't, I don't like that though, because if he gets an ace, he doesn't have any control. If anything, I would come off from the, the anchor. That was right. That was right, this move? No, no, to run off the off anchor. Off the anchor, right? Yeah. The anchor was better, yeah. Five two, safe, okay, safe. That's got to be a safe play there. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that play. This is correct, of course. Now he's going to make the board and come out. What do you roll? So I think he should come out and make the board. How's that for a play? How's that for a, for a play? Come out and make the board. This is correct, of course. The genius that I am, I saw it. Within a second. No, okay, so that's a small error. Or big, I don't, yeah, it's small, small. Aces? One, two. Okay, so one, two is a hitter. Two, and of course, he should hit. He should hit. I think he leaves, should he hit double fours? Very close. It's very close, actually, it's very close. It's extremely close to hit or not. I may not have hit, actually, because you can see what happens now. It doesn't help me too much, unfortunately. 4-2, so now he's going to have to leave the... Oh, it's 4-3. You're better. That's a perfect play, of course. No blocks. And now he's going to have to leave from the 5-point, unless he rolls a 3-1. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Very good, very good. Dice uh, control there. <laughs> now he's really ready. Those board. Mark can't double, of course. It would be really bad if he did. He's not home in any way, shape, or form. He rolls three, <laughs> two, and then he brings him in, and he's going to cube, probably. I think he should just bring him in. I don't think he should make the point. I think this is correct. No, I think this is what you want. You just want to bring him in and then, like, cube him. Oh, it's very close, actually. Yeah, this is... Yeah, if you just make the point, you can cube, too. He can cube too. I mean, if he rolls a four, you cube. If he rolls a five, it's an easy cube. If he fans, it's a cube. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a cube, no matter what. <laughs> it's very close either way. But actually, this is a little better. This is a little better. And you can see why, because it's an easier cube to give when he's on a roof like that. It's just easier to, to redouble. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think if he rolls big, he's going to take it. Mark has just seen what's the best play for him so that he can cube next row. I'm, I'm sure he, re he realizes that he finally got to a, a very strong position with any cube. Uh, and he, w I think he's going to come up with this idea, yeah. Uh, very good move. Accurate. And now Conrad wants to stay out and hope that he doesn't get cubed and the guy rolls a three. And of course Mark should double this and Conrad will probably pass. Uh, yeah, Conrad is gonna pass. Yeah, he tricked him. That was a trick. <laughs> he tricked him. Yeah, 
tricked him, you know, it was as if he was taking it. See, I think uh, this Ray Kermit is going to have to take a break at some point. Everything he does is just like backfires. And he play, he's playing fine. You know, he's really playing a fine game. It just hasn't worked for him. Mark has gotten the lucky rolls and uh, he's won uh, three games, actually. Three games in a row where he had the worst of it. He won three games where the other guy killed him. All right. Next game, six love. Two, five, five, two. Five, two. I like this idea when you're behind. This is good. And then fives, okay, that, 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 that's normal, right there. And then aces, that's a great roll. And now, Conrad is gonna cube again, after three, two, oh, that's from the back, yeah, that's correct. Conrad probably won't cube this, all right. He'll wait to roll four, two, and then if Mark doesn't roll three or two, six, he's gonna get cubed, or double aces. Three, okay, three, so the cube is going to have to wait. I would wait here still, you know, even though he's going to make the prime, you know, it would be harmless. Make the prime first, Conrad, then double will so take. Three, and the one is a split, good. And, and Mark needs to roll a good number to make the four and the five, really. Five, one, that's a bad roll, now the cube could come. That's, that's just a bad roll, he has to play to the three, he can't afford to lose. That's a clear play, of course. There, there, there's no other play. And, and, and I'm not even, I mean, I think you should take the cube too, unfortunately. Yeah, very good cube by Conrad. He did it well. And of course, I think you should take it. Uh, you know, he has a three point anchor. He's going to sit there for a long time until he rolls double sixes. This is a correct cube. This is a correct take. Four one. Uh, I don't know why a 13 8, I guess. Or what, what is he gonna do if he doesn't lift it? I guess he plays to the 23. This is actually correct, I see. 13-8 was a small error. Okay, very nice play by Conrad. He wants to force the issue. 4-3, that's gotta be two down for lack of a better thing to do. That leaves some shots, but uh, there's not much. You can't really play to the ace. Oh, the ace is actually better. You can't leave those shots, amazing. 3-1 covers, okay. Okay. And now he wants to make a point at least. Ah, oh, that's just garbage. Okay, so there's garbage and whatever. I don't, oh, to the ace it goes, okay. That just goes to the ace, there's nothing to do. He can't do anything, you go on a slot because it doesn't help you. You're never gonna outside the other guy. You just don't, you just never wanna get hit here. Never, ever, ever. Right, that's good. Now he wants to hit with a 5-2 or 4-3. 3-6, 3-3, 3-6, comes out probably. Or he could just play it to, I mean, he could really try and maximize. He could play it 3 and 6 down. Yeah, I like this idea, you know. You just want maximum contact, you're not afraid. This is the right play, I believe. Threes, one, oh, this is not good. Because here, no, I, you're leaving a shot, and that's that you don't want to do that. You just don't ever want to leave a shot. And yeah, he has to do that. And two, four, no, that still plays. Uh, four, one. All the numbers really play. Double twos even play. So yeah, that's probably the right play. It leaves only an ace. Oh, ace, deuce is huge. Because now he hits, he puts another man behind. Now Mark is probably going to leave more shots. So he's going to, a fan is a good roll here. Good roll. 5-4, okay, he's gonna come off the four point. Oh, sixes. Slots the ace for sure. One. Yeah, you need to come yeah, you need to come out of there, slot the ace. You don't you don't care. You want him to roll an ace and hit you, of course. So you slot that. Yeah, and slot the ace. Yeah, something like that. Wow, you give yourself double twos and double aces. You maybe need to well, I think he wants to slot the ace because you want to get hit. Yeah. And slotting the ace, of course, is the right idea. And now you want to slot the deuce then. If you can't slot the ace, slot the deuce. There you go, four. There you go, Conrad, three. Okay, you can bring it in, actually. Good. But this is the, the okay, ace, six. 
And now I don't know what he wants to do. Six one, six hits, that's correct. Very good. Who's that? Mappa. The snake sees all the plays here. He sees how he can trap the other guy. So with six, of course, you hit. You're not obviously you're not worried about getting hit back. And you want him to hit you back so you can come back and capture another man. So I don't know why he's thinking. Conrad knows these moves, I think, I believe. And he should, according to Svepa. So, what happened? I don't know what happened. I don't know, but um, are we stuck with the video? Are they playing and we're not seeing it? Oh no, there we go. Oh, he just took a long time over nothing. All right, so he's gonna make the wrong move anyways. Um, yeah, you just, I mean, you just wanna try and capture another guy, you, no risk. You wanna hit, okay, but there was a better way to hit, Conrad. You can leave two guys there instead of one, that's better. Yeah, obviously that's an error. Oh, and he gets hit anyways. All right, so what, nothing, no, no bad number. What, ace four? No. Ace five, the worst, okay. So two one is really good. Ah, oh, what's that? Okay, he gets another shot. Wow, Conrad is gonna get him. Now he's gonna roll ace three. No. Fans, and now he wants to roll a deuce or cover or something, five and four, no blocks, of course. He must play to the ace, obviously. This is an obvious, obvious move. I don't know what Mark is thinking. Uh, he has no back game, he has nothing. He just uh, wants to avoid any anything. 6-2, that's not a good roll for Conrad under the circumstances, he needs to come out. And now with a five, he wants to really roll a deuce, Mark. A deuce is very good here. So with a five, he's gonna hit him. I guess with an ace, he's gonna hit him too. Five. Oh, now he does it. Why didn't he do it before? Gee. All right. Now, I guess before there weren't no blocks. Three, six. That's a joker. All right. <laughs> Fives, that's, that's not a good roll, actually. That is really a bad roll. Uh, but he actually has to clear him, huh? He has to clear this, that, and the nine point. Yeah, and he leaves a 6-4 shot. Yeah, this is the right play, and it's not so bad. I mean, the box is, someone said, Svepa. So, what? No, that's 5-4. He must play that. That's correct. Aces are duped. Ace 3, signature roll. What did he roll? Ace dues, should he hit or should he not? Well, of course he should hit. He needs to win a gammon. And even if he gets hit back, only double aces hits and covers. He needs to win the race, that's true. The race is not locked up. Ace five is like a, not a number. So the hit is like really obvious. And Conrad, don't back out on me now. Don't do this to me. Oh, come on now. Come on. I can't, no, no way. He dumped me. <laughs> no way. 5-4. <laughs> That's a dump. That's a total dump job there. I accuse him of like collaborating with his opponent after that play. He left him a shot he doesn't want to hit. Okay. 6-5? That's a shot? The 6-5. The okay. So so it's like forced. 5. And the 6. Nice. And two blocks. Would he hit with a 5-6? Oh, he has to. Or 5-4? Five again? No, four, three, he must come out. He must come out, right? What is he gonna do, not come out? Is he gonna do, is this better than coming out? It's very close. It's close. It's borderline. It's almost the same. It's the same, okay. So at least he gives him double fives. And he does not roll double fives. He rolls a four with some number, with a six. Very good roll. Now he's gonna come out with anything that comes out. Oh, that's not a good roll. I can see this being like some sick gammon or something. But fours, he takes, take all of them. Take all four of them. He's not that brave, huh? 
No, what are you doing? What is that? Oh, come on now. You can't play that safe. Come on. Oh, Conrad, please. You want to win again? Double threes? Don't even tell me double threes. <laughs> it is? Oh, come on. He got so punished. He got so, so punished. And if he rolls an ace, the way he's been rolling gets an ace, I would bet on it. If somebody wants to bet, I'll bet an ace and I'll take two to one. Oh, he finally missed. All right, so Conrad, got, oh, Conrad must be sick now, but I mean, he probably feels better. But uh, he can't believe this is happening to him. He got on the scoreboard, yep. Even he can't lose this game. Oh, that's so unbelievable, that game. Wow. I can't believe it. You almost got really punished again. That would have been really sick. One, two, three, four. I mean, that's not gambling here. Come on, Conrad. You weren't playing for a gambling. What are you talking about? He's counting the checkers as if he's ready to gamble the opponent. I think there's a small problem with that. He's got too many checkers. Uh, no matter what he rolls, aces. All right, what? Oh my God, he could have won a gamble? Oh, all right. <laughs> but he could have won a gamble. That's so sick. He didn't even play for it. I'm going to have to ask him about that money if he was just playing safe or what, what was he thinking? All right, so he gets on the board. Now we have a more interesting match. It's closer. All right. Uh, three, uh, six, oh. six, three, six, three. Good. Yeah, Conrad, lost. Conrad was playing really well up to that point. He was not making big mistakes or anything up until then. Um, all right, two, one. Okay, hits, hits. So six is good. Four, one. That's probably a slot, right? Or no? Or if you come in on a four and slot the five, is that a reasonable? Okay, this must be fine. Yeah, this is cor the correct move. Yeah, this was the correct move. Makes sense because you can't you, you can't get hit and you can't cover that six spot. So that's what a three double three. Oh, that's a very good roll. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know if that's right. I kind of like that that. Oh, double fives. That's not a good roll, Ada. That's too fast. One, and he must make the three point. That's all he can do. He must make the three point and not the one point. Yeah, I like that. And now Marcus actually does not want to hit. He wants to pry. Marcus has studied this position, I know. And he knows that hitting is not necessary here in general. He just want to make the five point or the four. And that's how you want to win the game. Yeah, I think that there's nothing better than this. And this is confirmed. In Fact. Yeah, this is confirmed. This play is confirmed. Makes perfect sense. If you play a five six, uh, you're gonna you're you're gonna uh, hit and come out with both. You, you just come out with both. You the other guy can't really hit you from the mid with moving all those blocks. What's that? Two with what? Oh, 2 5, okay, so that looks like the right idea. Yeah, he has to do that. He doesn't want to, maybe, but he has to. 5 3, does that hit something? <coughs> just makes the 5, right? Yeah, okay, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you just make the board, and you're going to try to win it with a better board. Pressure on Mark to roll well. And Ace is very good, actually. 4 6 can be double hit, but I think. I think that could be too big. I'm not sure. God. He can do that and be really safe. I think I would make the safe move. I think this leaves a lot of genius says. I agree. I would do that. This is my style. This is, in fact, correct and confirmed. You just have a solid position. You don't need to play with a zillion blocks. A6 is forced. And now he can just cube him and he's gonna pass. If he doubles fast, he will pass for sure. <laughs> like he doesn't even need to think about this. He should just cube, you know? Like this is automatic for me. Even at the score, you know, this is just very good. Uh, very good, it's a cube, it's a pass. It's already a pass. It's not the worst take in the world, but it's a clear pass. This is a very bad position. Um, 
Oh, what happened, Carter? And I thought you were playing conservative. Oh, gee. And and four one, and I think now you double hit. I think now you do it. Now, now you want sec to six, yes, and you do that. Yeah, very good play by Mark. I think this is going to be confirmed that this is, in fact, the best play. Four, six, a really bad entry by Conrad. And now he's going to be all over him. A six or an ace or a deuce is very good. He rolls all of them. Yeah, so he needs... <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to cover. He's going he's gonna, to... And he's going to bring it to the five. He's going to play 11 to, to, to five, yes. This must be the right play. He must play 11 to 5 and bring another builder uh, to make the 4 in case he doesn't roll a 4. This is, in fact, incorrect. I'm right, finally. Uh, yeah, and uh, he should bring it. He's just sinking with 6, but you don't need to overthink here. Uh, you just have a stack point on 11, which does nothing. You just want to get rid of that point, and you want to bring a guy closer in range so that it hits uh, on, the, on the four point. Yeah, this is slightly worse. Obviously, it's not a big deal, but it's slightly worse. Four, and the one he's gonna play from the back. Well, no, maybe six to five. He could split and maybe make the 23 point. Maybe that's a better point than the 24 point. Yeah, two, yeah, that is the best play. Six, five was a close second. Very, very good. So five, four, I don't think he wants to point on him because it's gonna create a gap on a three. I think it's five, four. I think that's the wrong idea. I don't like that. Let him play. I don't I don't like that. I don't, yeah, the double fours. I didn't like that play. Was that confirmed? Yeah, that, that's his second error, the two points. You, you, yeah, it's just the wrong idea. You wanna make the three point and you, want, you don't wanna keep him on the roof even. You wanna let him move and roll some bad numbers. It's just a bad idea there. All right. So 6-2 is going to be safe, as safe as can be. 6 and then to the 11. Yeah. Very good. It now needs to come out with a 5 or a 6. A 3 and a 4 is bad. Did you roll that? All right. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> so 4 and a 3 is just garbage. You go well, you have to play to the deuce point. You cannot come off. Yeah, you, you can't come off. Yeah. You, just, you can play 6 to 3. I think this is more flexible. This is the right play, in fact. Uh, 3 2. Okay. I th oh, could he slot to 3? Jeez. But he doesn't have a 2. Yeah. So this is reasonable. Oh, no. That's a disaster. <laughs> I still don't come off the. I still don't come off the ace. I, uh, I, I don't do it. I just don't do it. I, I don't mean, he can remake the point and try and whatever. I just coming up the eight is just like resignation. Coming up the eight. Yeah, I agree with this move. It's ugly, but I just hate coming up the ace even more. Yeah, this is in fact confirmed. This is the right play. Six five. He can he six five and now the f what's that? Six. Oh, double six. And just leave the shot. Just leave the shot. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's, it's he can leave the shot. It's a builder to make the three. And I think it's the right play by Mark. Four one that hits and covers. He must do that. And was that the right six six? I think so. Yeah, That's confirmed. Sure. Good play by Mark. Uh, four one four hits must cover the ace, of course. All right, uh, Conrad. Now you have to hope for some miracles. Okay, that's one miracle. Let's see how many more. 2-1, okay, he can't lift it, so he's going to play to the uh, 14 point. He's just going to play with that checker, he's going to keep it going. Yeah, more miracles are awaiting, come on. 1, 2, yes, there you go, okay, we're waiting for the second miracle, let's see. And 5-2, not a miracle, but... Okay, he can slot the three, probably wrong, or he can do I don't, I don't like that. I think he can always do it later, maybe. I don't know, it gives an ace to be hit. I think, it's, I think I just do that, and I wait. I think that's the right idea. Oh, slamming was actually better, a little better. Wow, he looked at it. I would have done this also, I would have been mistaken, that's small. 
Oh, he made the he remade the board. Very nice. Now you don't want to lose a shot. Five four. That's like five, and you want to play to the deuce. You don't want to leave a shot here, obviously. So he's got to move. And now Conrad is going to have to come off the four point. Yeah, you don't leave a shot, Mark. No, 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 no. Because now, now he just hits, and he's happy to hit. He's got a better board. I believe this is the right play. This is in second third. Um, three one again, garbage. Oh, oh gee. Uh, yeah, I, I, I break it again. I guess, I guess I'll be consistent. Yeah, and it is right to break. I see that. It would be a good error, yeah, to, yeah. And now he can slot again, or whatever, whatever he's gonna be doing. Six, whatever, what is that? So he slots immediately, that's obvious. Of course, he's not gonna play to the deuce board. That's pretty silly. Yeah, of course he does that. There's no danger here, you know, like there's no, there's no number that wins or anything or other. I mean, with a two, three, I don't know, he's gonna have to hit, oh, it's four and one. I think he still stays. I don't think he comes off the anchor. That would be sick because he can get gamut. So he has to play to the ace all the way. He cannot come out. Yeah, I agree with that. Good move. And he's going to have to wait one more roll until Mark comes in with his checkers unless he rolls like a 2 1. Just a 4. Okay, so here I, I leave the double shot. Yes. You leave the double shot. Don't worry. It's nothing, really. Yeah, you leave the 3, you leave the 6. You got a very strong board. Uh, even if you get hit from the ace point, do I hit with a six? I would. I absolutely would. Oh, that's a good hit with a six, in fact. Because it lifts. See that? And that. Yeah, you must hit with a six. You must. Because even if you get hit back, you can hit back. I mean, you can roll an ace. You, you hit on all variations you hit. There's no, there's no other way to go. I'm sure of that. You can't, you, you can't let them come in and bear off, you know, and make it as if it's safer. So 4-3, uh, he just goes somewhere with that guy. You know, uh, if, if he does that, he at least double fives to be hit. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that. It's just one number that uh, gets me gammon. So if you uh, should roll double fives, at least I may not get gammon. So yeah, I would play the other four. If it's like that, then I would do that. Yeah, that doesn't mean fours, no fives. Oh, sixes is a return shot at least. If you roll sixes, you get a return shot. Five, two, that comes out. Or, or does he play to the three? Mm. Okay, that's close. probably close. That's close, both those plays. Three, one, does he play it safe? I guess I would. I would just button up, you know? I wouldn't leave shots and everything, you know? I don't want to get gammoned, first of all, you know? So I would just cover that guy up, you know? That's just my style. I, I mean, I can't leave those numbers to be hit in the gammon. And of course, it is the right idea. Right again. I'm getting on, s on the roll here. Uh, yeah, I know he's thinking, and I know he wants to contain, and this is typically where Conrad can fall for the trap. Yeah, and this is wrong. This is massively wrong, in fact. This is like the biggest error he's made so far, maybe. 3 2, okay, so he's going to sit put, he's going to go to the ace and he's going to slot the ace. What's that? Can he slot the ace? Yeah, he can slot the ace. Um, I think he's just going to stay there and slot the ace. <coughs> yeah, and that's in fact the right play. Uh, and that's the wrong play. It's small. Oh, it's small. <coughs> but it's the wrong idea. Okay, I mean, if you get hit there, you have some return, but you rather stay back. 6-4. All right, so that probably safety is one of them. Unless he comes out with two, and I think that's too dangerous. Maybe it is right to come out with two, because you have the best control. You leave seven and a ten, but you get maximum control. I think I would actually come out with both. I know it's risky. He dies. And you stop the eight, yeah. Is that right? Coming out with both was clearly right, in fact. Uh, so this is an error, a sizable error there. Yeah. Oh, and it's the eight. Very call, very good call by genius this time. And it happened, you know? He called the eight, it came, and it would have been blocked with the, the other player, of course. And four, two, very, uh, 
In these sort of positions, it's one of the lessons to be learned that when we do this, we really have to be very careful about the control that we have when we make those plays in the outfield. We have to be super careful to, to fit, play it as accurately as we can because it's so important that we're such big underdogs that we cannot afford to make any type of error to give ourselves less in that position. Fours, of course, he takes all of them. They have nothing to fear, ever, until you lose that game. So 4-2, he just goes uh, down, you know, he doesn't want to give him double twos and double A's and all that. Yeah, you have to do that. You don't waste any pip. 6-3, I mean, I would just play safe, but I would play safe here, but uh, this leaves more numbers. Oh, it's right to play, to play, to play like that. Okay, good. Yeah, the gamut is very close, and it's right to take chances. 6-4? No, 6-2. Perfect. Perfect. He's perfect like Vera up here. 4-3 gets 4, and then 3. He's got to hope for like 6-2, and then you win. All right. So 6-2, maybe? He rolled it! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, if I was making bets, I'd win so much money. <laughs> I'd get the odds all the time, and I'd win like 30 to 1, 20 to 1, <laughs> you know, 15 to 1 shots. 6 2, he's got a hit. I believe in this move. I, I, I think it's good. Uh, obviously, there's some fanning numbers. Uh, threes and fives are bad, and whatever. Oh. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's just too good, you know? And now he must roll an ace or something, or he did, he rolled the ace. <laughs> Everything is a perfect die. Now he's gonna roll an ace three or something. Oh, five three, he must get off the BG. That's it, don't think about it. <laughs> All right, now he obviously wants to, whatever, take two off. Three and one is to the three point. No, I think that's wrong. Yeah, this way he doesn't get double three. This is the right play. This must be the, this should be the wrong play. No, this is right. Oh, it's very, it's like equal. Oh, it's like equal. It's like completely equal. So it doesn't matter either way. So he, he needs big, what do you roll? Two, four? That's garbage. Right. Six. Oh, it's six, two? Oh, it's four, two. So does he get, he gets double threes here. He gets double fours. This is, does he get, he doesn't get double fours. What did he do? Double fives he may not have had. Oh, he rolled double fours. Oh, now we finally reached the break point. Oh, brutal for our car, for Conrad. All right, we'll be back soon, we'll be back soon with this. Gee, wow. What a nightmare. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.